The greatest rivalry in the Upper Murray League is Coronel and Federals. Yeah, we're in Coronel. We're just off the Murray River on the Victoria New South border. It's pretty much at the forefront of your life for at least nine months of the year, football. Most of the rivalry come because we're on the same ground. We're right next door to each other, so you got to have bragging rights, I suppose, when they're so close. We can't just walk away from them and forget them because they're right next door. Conrad was coach at the moment, it's Evan Nicholas. He's actually my nephew. We're here in our change rooms now, Federal's change rooms, 25 metres over there. That brings added rivalry because most other clubs around Australia have separate grounds. Years ago, our football ground was on road level and they had to walk up into steps and theirs and uh, I'm pretty sure it was their president at the time who may have been on the Shire. Got some road works done here, down here and made it level into their rooms and more or less put us down the bit of a hole. So yeah, that took a, a few years to get over, if we've got over it yet, but now when it rains too much, we get a bit of water in the door. <laughs> I suppose the rivalry probably tipped over in the 70s when uh, a bloke called John Whitson left Coral next door and come and coached us. He had four or five brothers that were all good players for Coral, and he came over here and I can just imagine what he went through. It was a hard decision to make, but it's, it's certainly not something that I've regretted. It, uh, I, I think that I'm a, I'm a much better person for it. It was a, a, a bit of a, an odd situation because on the farm here, I farmed with my younger brother, and so, uh, you know, we played footy against each other in the afternoon and came home and milked cows together uh, in the in the evening and uh, there were a lot of times there wasn't a lot of conversation, I can, I can assure you. Two pubs in town, top pub was Corion's pub, bottom pub was our pub. Very rarely crossed over, I don't think anybody did. Yeah, it was just the way it was. We're a six-team comp. Last year we played Federals five times. We actually won three of them. They won the first and the last, so technically they won the important one. So it's really, really critical that we start to really look forward top spot. And also... There's the two football teams, and there's actually another football team 15 minutes drive away, which is called Kajawa. It pulls on the town pretty well too, so we're actually supplying nearly three teams. We've certainly got to bring players in from away. They've got to come from more or less out of the Hume League or out of Albury. So it's an hour and a half drive for those blokes each Saturday and training. So it's a very big commitment. So we better win. Uh, back line is Cody Edwards, Dan McGuinness, Johnny Anderson. People talk about combining the league and going elsewhere, but it takes away that love that you have, the passion, and for what we've been doing for years is enjoying giving each other banner. because the caliber of player we've been bringing in has been higher and higher quality. For me, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the center of my life in a roundabout way. Yes, I've got family and kids, but everything we do is somehow directed at the footy club. And it's not just us, it's so many other families. These people live and die for footy. It's such harder to get football players, um, so we learn to appreciate each other a little bit more because of we don't want um, our football and netball to die in our community because there's young um, kids that we're trying to bring up through the game, so we have to sometimes let that rivalry go. Yeah, we come out here and we don't have Biffo between us, but, you know, it was in the past. You can spite a rivalry as much as you like, and we'd like to think that on a Saturday, really, it's reached its highest point. And then hopefully after the game, you know, we try to, try to go back to being friendly. You know, footy's what brings our community together.